in our previous lessons we have already learned about the definition or meaning of latitudes well what are latitudes latitudes are imaginary horizontal lines drawn on the surface of a globe now i have also mentioned that equator is an important line of latitude equator divides the earth into two equal halves the northern half of the globe is called northern hemisphere and the southern half is called southern hemisphere equator is also at an equal distance from both the extreme points of the globe that is the north pole and the south pole the equator is at equal distance from both these poles we also read that equator makes an angle of 0 degree with the orbital plane so if this is the orbital plane then equator makes an angle of 0 degree with this plane now can you name the countries through which equator passes the 0 degree latitude or equator passes through several countries the name of those countries are equator colombia brazil and also other countries like gabon uganda and many other countries of central africa and also through indonesia so these are the countries through which equator passes now apart from equator there are other important lines of latitudes let us know about them the next important line of latitude is the tropic of cancer this latitude lies at a distance of 23 and a half degree from the equator so as i have discussed earlier the angular distance between equator and this latitude is 23 and a half degree so the 23 and a half degree latitude that lies to the north of the equator is called the tropic of cancer now let us know about the countries through which the tropic of cancer passes now as we can see from this map the tropic of cancer or 23.5 degree north latitude passes through several countries this latitude passes through mexico bahamas and many countries of north africa like western sahara algeria niger egypt etc it also passes through some countries of asia like saudi arabia uae india china so these are the countries through which the tropic of cancer passes now just like this tropic of cancer there is another important latitude that lies at the same distance from the equator but to the south of the equator do you know what is that latitude called the latitude that lies 23 and a half degree south of the equator is called the tropic of capricorn now as i just mentioned both the tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn lies at an equal angular distance that is the angular distance between the equator and tropic of capricorn is 23 and a half degree and again the angular distance between tropic of cancer and the equator is 23 and a half degree however the difference between tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn is that tropic of cancer lies to the north of the equator and tropic of capricorn lies to the south of the equator now let's see the countries through which tropic of capricorn passes this map shows the countries through which 
23 and a half degree south latitude or tropic of capricorn passes some of these countries are chile argentina brazil namibia south africa mozambique australia and few other countries so till now we have discussed about three important lines of latitude that is tropic of cancer equator and tropic of capricorn now apart from this there are other important lines of latitude in fact there is another important line of latitude that lies to the north of tropic of cancer let's know about it an important line of latitude that lies 66 and a half degree north of equator is known as the arctic circle so the angular distance between the arctic circle and the equator is 66 and a half degree so 66 and a half degree line of latitude that lies to the north of equator is called the arctic circle now can you name the countries through which this latitude passes arctic circle passes through some countries of north america like alaska canada greenland and also some countries of europe like Iceland, Norway, Sweden, Finland and a country of Asia that is Russia. So these are the countries through which the arctic circle passes. Now just like this arctic circle there is another important line of latitude that lies at an equal distance from the equator but that latitude lies to the south of equator can you name that latitude the next important line of latitude that lies 66 and a half degree south of the equator is called the antarctic circle the angular distance between the equator and arctic circle is 66 and a half degree so the 66 and a half degree line of latitude that lies to the south of the equator is called the antarctic circle and the angular distance between the arctic circle and the equator and antarctic circle and the equator is exactly the same that is both these lines of latitudes lies at the same angular distance from the equator now apart from these lines of latitudes there are two more important latitudes they are the north pole and the south pole the north pole lies at an angular distance of 90 degree from the equator so the 90 degree latitude that lies to the north of the equator is called the north pole and again the 90 degree latitude that lies to the south of the equator is called the south pole now unlike other important lines of latitudes the north pole and the south pole are just mere points that is they are not lines but they are just points and as i have mentioned earlier this happens due to the spherical shape of the earth now let us discuss about the countries through which the antarctic circle passes the 66 and a half degree south latitude or antarctic circle passes through one particular country and that is antarctica so antarctica a continent which lies in the southernmost part of the earth is the only country or the only continent through which the antarctic circle passes now before we proceed with our lesson can you help me to answer this question which is the only continent through which the antarctic circle passes is it antarctica 
ऑस्ट्रेलिया यूरोप और एशिया यस द करेक्ट आंसर इज एंटार्क्टिका एंटार्क्टिका इज द ओनली कॉन्टिनेंट थ्रू विच एंटार्क्टिक सर्कल पासिस द इम्पॉर्टेंट लाइन्स ऑफ लैटिट्यूड्स आर आर्कटिक सर्कल ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैंसर इक्वेटर ट्रॉपिक ऑफ केप रिकॉर्ड एंड एंटार्क्टिक सर्कल ना इफ यू रिमेंबर आई हैव मैंशन इन माई प्रीवियस लेसन दैट द प्लेसिस विच लाई ऑन द सेम हॉरिजोंटल लाइन ऑफ लैटिट्यूड हैव और एक्सपीरियंस सिमिलर टाइप ऑफ क्लाइमेट एंड हैव सिमिलर टाइप ऑफ वेजिटेशन सो दीज इम्पॉर्टेंट लाइन्स ऑफ लैटिट्यूड्स एक्चुअली डिवाइड द अर्थ इन टू डिफरेंट क्लाइमेटिक जोन्स और हीट जोन्स सो नाउ लेट एस लर्न अबाउट द हीट जोन्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड विच आर डिटरमाइन बाय दीज लाइन्स ऑफ लैटिट्यूड्स the first heat zone of the world that we will study about is the torrid zone or the tropical zone the tropical zone or the torrid zone lies between tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn and the equator passes through the middle of this zone now this particular zone receives the vertical rays of the sun and the amount of insulation that is the solar radiation received by the earth surface is maximum in this zone and due to these reasons this zone experiences very high temperature throughout the year so the characteristic of this zone is that it experiences high temperature and most of the rain forest or the equatorial rain forest are located in this particular zone the next heat zone of the world is the temperate zone the not temperate zone lies between the arctic circle and tropic of cancer whereas the south temperate zone lies between tropic of capricorn and antarctic circle now the sun rays received by this temperate zone are inclined at some angle that is unlike the tropical zone or the torrid zone the temperate zone does not receive the vertical rays of the sun rather they receive slanting rays of the sun and due to this reason this zone experiences moderate or mild climate that is warmer summers and cooler winters now let's know about the next climatic zone of the world the next heat zone of the world is the frigid zone the north frigid zone lies to the north of the arctic circle whereas the south frigid zone lies to the south of the antarctic circle so frigid zone is the coldest part of the earth and it lies between the arctic circle and to the north pole in the northern hemisphere and between the antarctic circle and south pole in the southern hemisphere so in today's video we first read about the important lines of latitudes they are equator tropic of cancer tropic of capricorn arctic circle and antarctic circle then we discuss about the important heat zones of the earth which are demarcated by these important lines of latitudes the important heat zones of the earth are torrid zone temperate zone and frigid zone in our next video we will discuss how to determine the latitude of a place don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon you can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the delta step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus master each topic with our adaptive practice technology get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests get all your doubt resolved instantly learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads 
So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, but it's rewarding too. So register for free now.